88,000 doctors, I think you're connected to 88,000 doctors. 88,000 doctors, 93,000 providers, 18.7% of visits to the office in uh, March, but who's counting? Do they think Obamacare is imploding? I think the aspect of implosion, is real implosion, is small. There's a couple places that are imploding. The individual market premiums are imploding. Do you, think you could fix that without blowing the whole thing up. Do you think there are some counties that are not going to have any choices? I mean, they're, they're, you know, you've got insurers pulling out of the Let's not kid each other. There are no choices. There never were any choices. All those products map back to five companies, right? right? If those five companies are only allowed to offer one product. The federal government mandates the definition of insurance. If I were to give credit to the Republicans, that is a little ridiculous in this country. People should be allowed a little wider choice of what they want, and that would get more people engaged uh, in the market. But of course there will be fewer because it's a sham. If you are forced to have a commodity market, you're going to go down. You're going to go down to monopolies, right? Any forced commodity market goes down to monopolies. We've seen you guys cover it in everything, in grain, in tractors, in cars, in anything. Until a new player can, is allowed to bust through and shake things up from the outside, you're going to have gravitation to monopoly. Let's strip the politics out for a minute. Are there three or four levers that you could pull that you could just fix this thing? Of course not. I think the basic idea that you need a market is real. The fact that we've gone 50 years without a real working market is real. It doesn't mean we can't have one. It means we need to usher it into existence. Everywhere in our American society, there are incubators, right? Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, what are they? They're incubators to get the mortgage market to reach more people. We could do that kind of thing. I think if the Republicans just get what they want and chop it over to the consumer, but then there's no product marketing or product management for the consumer to pick and choose. None of us know how to navigate. If you look at all the things that both sides of the aisle are prescribing, are, are considering doing, hospitals need to cut their administrative costs, grow their market share, and get better at managing all of the costs around them. Not just what I cost, but what everything I order costs. Those are the three things that you're going to have to do in an Obama world and in a Trump world. In the farthest right reaching, you know, the conservative outliers who blocked it last time, even if they got everything they wanted, Really, those three things are what every hospital and medical practice has to do. What's the dream in healthcare? Right. What's the, the dream? Valhalla, right? Every government wonk goes to bed on the left side of the aisle and on the right side of the aisle. What do they all want? They all want fertile, fresh, busy markets and a safety net. And of course, the, the two conflict with one another. A safety net means I'm going to buy this no matter what. So you don't really have to give me a good deal because I know that you got to give it to me no matter what, right? The flip side is, I'm going to let Joe die here unless you give him a better deal. So the, the, the Valhalla is something in between. And, you know, the idea of there's a concept in Obamacare called an ACO, Accountable Care Organization, where you get some payment for savings you generate on a population. The whole Medicare Advantage program is premised on the idea that, here, look, I'm the government. I suck at this. Here is the $1,000 a month it cost me. You, anything below $800, you keep it. It's your profit. You know, if it's a claim-based healthcare system, it doesn't make any sense to make investments in that. In these Medicare Advantage plans, it kind of does make sense.